In this lesson, we will learn how to work with logarithms. And specifically, we will be practicing going back and forth between logarithmic form and exponential form, which looks like these down here. But let's back up. Exponential form looks like this. Logarithmic form looks like this. But these two expressions both mean the same thing. If this is true, then this is true, and vice versa. So we should be able to switch back and forth between the two, um, just by sort of following the patterns. Uh, for example, okay, I meant to have a different color just then. So, say if I had, I'm um, just making this up, um, say if I had m to the p power is equal to q. All right, clearly this is exponential form. If I wanted to, to write this in logarithm form, logarithmic form, this is what I would think. Logs equal exponents, all right? Memorize that fact. Logs equal exponents, all right? So notice in exponential form, x is the exponents, and sure enough, logs equal exponents. So if I want to write log form, the first thing I'm going to do is write log equals p. All right, because p is the exponent, and I know logs equal exponents. Also, this would be read log base b of n equals x. Let me say that again. Log base b of n equals x. So whatever this is is always the base. So I need log base something. And guess what? M is the base. It's always base power, all right? M is the base. So log base M. Well, that only leaves Q, so that's going to go right here. So there you go. I've now written this in logarithmic form. Okay? Another way to think about it, I mean, that's what's really happening. Um, but here's another way to think about it. Sort of a shortcut, if you will. If you start with the base, so M is the base. So I will start with log base m. These other two things always uh, wind up switching places. So the q winds up over here, and the p winds up over there. Boom. OK. So applying that to this lesson, all we're doing is rewriting in exponential form. So start with the base. So I've got a base of 4. And then these two will kind of switch places. So it'll be 4 to the fifth power is equal to 1,024. All right, start with the base. The base is 36. And these two sort of switch places. So 36 to the 1 half power equals 1 sixth. Oh, I'm sorry, negative 1 half power. OK. Start with the base. The base is 14. These two sort of switch places. So 14 squared is equal to 196. Number four. Starting with the base. The base is 8. These two kind of switch places. So 8 to the third power must equal 512. Looking at number five. Oh, hitting a roadblock. Notice how there's no visible base here. That means the base is understood to be 10. All right, it's called the common log. If there's no visible base um, on a log, then uh, L-O-G, then it must be a 10. Anyway, so, so fine, the base is 10. So 10 to the, now as before, these two will switch places. So 10 to the third power is equal to 1,000. base of 16. So 16, uh, these two switch places. So 16 to the 1 fourth power equals 2. Okay, start with the base. The base is u. All right, these two switch places. So u to the v power is equal to 15 over 16. Start with the base, 7 over 4. These two will switch places. So 
7 over 4 um, to the y power. Better use parentheses so it's obvious that the y power goes on this whole fraction, not just the 7. So 7 fourths to the y power equals x. All right, another roadblock here. Natural log, ln log natural, I always say in my head. The, um, just like when we saw the log with no visible base, we uh, learned that that was understood to be base 10. Well, natural log, log natural, when you see this ln with no visible base here, that means it's base e. All right, e is a constant, which is approximately 2.72. But uh, natural log is always base e. So starting with the base, I will start with my e. And uh, when you change forms, these two will sort of switch places. So I do. All right, so there you go. e to the v power equals 5. Okay, uh, we should be able to take this in the other direction as well. So here we have exponential form and we need to write logarithmic form. Once again, we will uh, start with the base. Now, logri logarithmic form obviously starts with L-O-G, um, but then comes the base. 64 is the base, so log base 64. These two things sort of switch places. So. This would be log base 64 of 8 is equal to 1 half. All right, log base 9, okay, 9 is the base. These two things basically switch places. So it should be 1, whoops, dyslexia alert. All right, so that's 1 over 81 is equal to negative 2, kabam. Okay, over here, now be careful. 1 12th is the base because it has the power. So it's going to be log base 1 12th. Okay, now these two things are going to have to switch places. Okay, um, so I got to be careful because uh, right now the 2 is with the 1 12th. And uh, so now I'm going to put the 1 over 144 with the 1 12th. And the 2 goes off. Look, logs equal exponent. So when in doubt, re remember, logs equal exponent. So the exponent better be over there by itself. OK, that's kind of an ugly one, but what are you going to do? Okay. Um, now look, guys. Uh, normally, we would we would go um, log, you know, base e. Okay, and then these two would kind of switch places. So, so log base e twenty point zero eight five five, and that would equal three. But it's, you're not supposed to ever put log base e. This is one that we're supposed to uh, simplify somehow. And uh, log base e is the natural log, log natural. So in, we, we're supposed to put ln instead of log base e. So natural log 20.0855 equals 3. Okay, that's the answer here. Okay, the base is one fifth, so log base one fifth, and uh, these will switch places. So, of a equals b. Here again, if we continue the previous pattern we would have log base 10 and then we'd switch these um, so it would be log base 10 of 31.6228 is equal to 3 halves 
but we are not to put log base 10. Uh, the 10 is to be understood. So we will just write log 31.6228 equals 3 over 2. This is the common log. Base 10 is understood, just simply don't put it. Okay, back to business. Base 9. So log base 9, switch these, of x is equal to y. By the way, this is a subscript. It should be hanging low. So do not, uh, don't do this. All right, some kids kind of um, get into this. All right, letting that nine be all big. Um, no, nine, uh, the base needs to be a, a little bit small and, and hanging low. All right, um, otherwise, like this would be like log base 10, all right, because this doesn't look like a base. Anyways, on with the program. Number 17. So here again, I see I see this base 10 coming on. So normally we would write log base 10 and then we'd switch these. Um, so that would be 0 0.01 is equal to negative 2. But we don't write log base 10. The base 10 is understood. So we just write log point zero one is equal to negative two. All right, number 18, start with the base. So it's gonna be log base B. Switch these. So 123 is equal to A. Okay, so that's it for those guys. Uh, what about 19? When you use the log button on your calculator, what base does the calculator use? Well, like we saw, that's base 10 is uh, understood when we do the log button. When we use the LN button, log natural. All right, this is number 20. Uh, what base does the calculator use? All right, natural log is base E. Okay, use, your cal use the calculator to evaluate the following expressions round result to four decimal places. Okay, log 3.5. Let me turn on my calculator. Log 3.5, so here's the log button right here. So log 3.5, and that is, um, let's see, it said four decimal places, so 0.5441. All right, natural log, 6.9. All right, natural log is right here. So natural log, 6.9. So that's 1.9315. And natural log of 150. Five point zero one zero six. So far, so good. What else you got? Uh, okay, this is pretty trivial. Natural log of twenty two point five. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, 3.1135. And log 8. 0 0.9031. Um, is that it? Okay, so one of the longest homework assignments I've ever get, given 
Yet one of the shortest homework assignments I've ever given, given in terms of time. I mean, look at this video. What is this, 15 minutes? Gotta be some kind of a record. Peace out.